It's Monday. Oh, there's somebody outside. And I look like a weird. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> Happy Monday, folks. Look at this big spot that's decided to appear on my head. Why does my skin look so flaky? Oh my god. I need to wash my face. Right, we're back up. Just about to go for a run. And then I've got a bunch of filming to do. I've got a rehearsal tomorrow for a short film I'm doing. And I need to go and meet up with the girl. Because she needs to cast my arm or something. I'm going to go do that as well. But as of right now, it's early. And I'm going for a run. And then we're getting on. We're getting on. Getting on. Let's get it on. <laughs> I'm excited for this week. It's going to be a good week. Woo! 4.22k complete. <laughs> I look like I've got horns. I need a shower. I'm going in a shower right now. I'm chuffed with that. Because yesterday when I went on a run, uh, which I didn't vlog because I was editing YouTube video, <laughs> I ended up stopping. I carried on. I still did like 3.3k or something, but I ended up stopping because I was like so dizzy. But today, I'm strong. Not that being dizzy isn't strong. It happens to us all. And you gotta stop. I walked a little bit and I kept going and I finished it. But I'm chuffed with that after yesterday's 4.22. Woo! Just done two makeup looks, guys. This is the second one. I think it's actually so pretty. I used the Be Perfect Cosmetics Muted Palette, which I picked up the other day at the event. I love this i love this i'm definitely taking this to london with me on thursday but yeah i am freezing today i keep making hot water bottles because i think it is so cold i've just done two looks i put my light back on charge because it kept dying and now i'm gonna quickly tidy up i've not actually made too much mess so i'm quite proud of myself i'm gonna tidy that up it's about half past one one and i'm gonna do one of my crazy looks where i shove a bunch of products on my face so i am gonna do that and then i will be heading straight into the shower obviously because i will be covered in makeup if you've seen those videos you'll know exactly what i mean then once i've done that i am gonna kind of relearn a monologue basically i sent a self tape and i was doing a monologue for something and i'm actually going up to aberdeen tomorrow they've asked me to go up for an in-person audition so i'm going up kind of tomorrow late afternoon i thought the train was a lot longer it's only like two hours 20 minutes so it's actually not too bad i need to book my train though <laughs> it's a really good experience but i've basically forgotten the monologue so i need to go over it and get it back into my brain and basically just re revise my script because tomorrow morning right until i go to the train station i'm in a rehearsal all day for a short film so i need to crack on and then i need to get my bag sorted for tomorrow because i'm gonna need to take like all my makeup change of clothes and everything with me to do my makeup on the train for the audition hey guys i did the kind of speed anymore i did my third look showered washed my hair it's all clean i'm now off to like a casting meeting thing really looking very cool i'm in a rush i need to brush my teeth i really need to go oh. back from this casting thing guys it's currently about 20 to 7 i'm absolutely bloody starving so i'm gonna get dinner on right now we're having broccoli honey carrots peas and salmon salmon <laughs> i'm losing it right let's get this dinner on happy tuesday guys sorry about the abrupt ending to last night's clip this is just me on the way to my rehearsal this morning and these were the views from like the room we were rehearsing and how pretty is that then i went straight to the train station and got the train to aberdeen this was about two and a half hours so it wasn't too bad and i got some snacks for the train but i was basically just doing my monologue the whole time on the train and edit i do love going on the train like up into the highlands because it is so pretty look at the sunset beautiful then i got to aberdeen good old union square aberdeen there you go the gray city here we are i don't know where i am this is good so i did the audition i said a little bit of an update on it later on in the vlog because it wasn't oh it wasn't very good but headed back to edinburgh on the train i was getting pretty tired by this point i'm not gonna lie i was ready to go why does it keep cutting me off ready to go home i am home it is five past nine i got an uber from waverly because the tram was going to be 25 minutes so i was like absolutely not i'm not doing it what you know he set the house on fire did it burn up again what happened 
<gasps> How did you do that? Because the fire alarm went off, so I go to the detail and I started dating that. Uh, yeah. The smoke alarm. Yeah. Because I didn't open the window. It started going like that, and then that was up there. And me doing that, so obviously it blew it. And I was still cooking the stuff. Oh, that went into the pan? It didn't go into the pan, it went like underneath it. And the car, I just seen it lying there. Because I chucked the tea towel and I went home for it to bacon and I went, I didn't put that there. And I picked it up and then that wee bit was on fire. Good thing you saw that because it could have gone up in flames. Well, it wouldn't have. We really just want in front of ash. It's paper. Oh. It's been a long day. I left the house this morning and then I had a rehearsal from 10 to 2 and then I got the train to Aberdeen, Aberdeen, uh, which took two and a half hours. I then went for an audition. This is also a reminder that don't beat yourself up if you have a bad audition. It's natural and it happens, right? Because it wasn't my best. It wasn't, a, it didn't go very well. Like, just to be honest, I've been very busy. There's a lot going on. I'm not trying to make excuses, but it didn't go great. It's not every audition is going to go to plan. The monologues that I was doing didn't go great, but then we did an improv thing at the end and that, that did go well. They were laughing, so that's good. Uh, but I've definitely not got it. Like, let's just be real. Absolutely not got the role, but that's okay. Oh, I'm embarrassed. No, I'm not. This happens. Exactly. It happens. You have bad auditions. It happens. Yeah. So I was in Aberdeen for Aberdeen for how long was I there? 50 minutes? And then I got on the train straight back to Edinburgh. I've also eaten like nothing today, which is not good. But it's just been one of those days. I'm gonna take my makeup off. Sorry for not really updating you guys much today. I included a couple clips of traveling because traveling up north on the train, like in like up to the highlands and stuff, is so pretty. But it wasn't really environments where I could get the camera out. Happy Wednesday, folks. It's a little bit later on in the day. It's like one o'clock. We're about to go to the cinema to see the new Hugh Grant movie, which I can't pronounce. It's like her heretic or something. This morning I posted some vintage parcels, Lewis went up to see his mum. I also may or may not have quickly jumped on the tram and gone to the St James's Quarter and got another pair of Adidas Campus. I'll show you, I'll show you. I saw them at the airport, at Bristol airport last week and I went to buy them and they didn't have them in my size and I've been thinking about them ever since. So I got those which is very, very lovely and a lovely treat. And I'm gonna wear them tomorrow to go to London. Ready? Yeah. And we're gonna go to the cinema and then we're gonna come back and we've got Married at First Sight to catch up on. And I need to like shower, wash my hair, shave my face, cause I'm literally getting a beard and then pack. I have a hair mask in my hair. We've been to the cinema actually. It was really good, really enjoyed it. I would definitely recommend kept us guessing the whole time which i always love that in a film where you're constantly like what's happening that i am now packing for london tomorrow got a really exciting event got hair oil in my hair so packing i'm gonna shave my face because i'm literally i think i said earlier i'm literally growing a beard at this point and i'm gonna wash my hair and sit and eat. I need to edit a video to post tonight as well. Good morning. Happy Thursday. I have curled my hair this morning. I've done me skincare. I'm just about to leave to head to the train station. I need to seal up my suitcase. This is the outfit. Got a little, can't see, little white fox. It's actually like a, what is this called? Play suit-y. Thing. And then I've got jeans, brown ones, Fashion Nova, my new shoes, they look so cool. And then my brown leather jacket from Fashion Nova as well. But I need to go and say bye bye to Lewis and then head off. And here I am on the train to London. I'm also was meeting my mom in London because she ended up being there working on the same day. So we stayed the night together and then made a little, a little trip out of it on the Friday, which you'll see. Got off the train, went onto the tube, got a blank street, match up 
Obviously. Look how beautiful London is. Then we went to the best Indian in the world. We went to the Masala Zone. We went to the one in Soho. We usually go to the Comic Garden one, but the Soho one was nearer to our hotel. Oh, it is the best Indian. Oh my God, I want this right. This thing keeps cutting me off. I want this right now. We have the Grand Tally, the butter chicken one. Oh, it is absolutely divine. We've been going to the Masala Zone since I was about seven years old and it never gets old. Oh my God. God, it's the best! Wow, I'm getting very, very overly excited here. Calm down. And as you can see, I absolutely just, well, I didn't fully destroy it. Honestly, I was absolutely stuffed. It was, then I've just included some clips of the Uber ride back to the hotel because it was so pretty. London at Christmas is just absolutely beautiful. Got myself ready, headed to the Mac Gold Party. Good morning from London. We have just gotten ready. We've got very natural makeup on. We got our cases that we've got to bring around with us all day, but it doesn't matter. You want to say hi to the vlog? My mom doesn't like being on camera. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you look lovely. Oh. Silly. We are popping to Holborn because it has our favourite breakfast spot that we've been going to since I was oh. how old? I don't know. Tiny, teeny, tiny. When did, I first, when did we first come here on the dance trip? Maybe when I was like seven? Something like that. Seven or eight. We're going to go to Harrods, but we need to go to Holborn anyway to then switch to the Piccadilly line to go to Knightsbridge. So, may as well. I'm wearing exactly the same thing that I wore yesterday. I've also got leggings on under these because I get cold. What? Can we just share that there's a light in the wardrobe? Oh, wow. It's a huge wardrobe. Never even looked in the wardrobe. Yeah. And a safe. Should have checked for bodies last night, but... Right, time to go. Yeah, Christmas we're going. going. We're hungry. And they get some scrambled eggs. We are at our favourite little breakfast place in Holborn. It's kind of it's right smack in the middle between like Holborn and Covent Garden. So here we are starting off our day. I got scrambled eggs, avocado and smoked salmon on toast, which was divine. Got some of these donuts because we've ordered these before and they're amazing. Then we went to Harrods and weren't allowed in with our suitcases, fuming. So look at the size of these dispenser things. So instead, we took a little bit of a touristy walk around London. We went to Buckingham Palace. We saw the horses. I'm not gonna lie though, I've been to Buckingham Palace so many times and I have never seen it this mobbed. It was insanely, insanely busy. Also went to the London Eye and then got some nibbles at All Bar One for lunch. Visited the Liberties Christmas shop, which I'm not gonna lie, was kind of a flop. It really was not very good. And then I got back to King's Cross, I got another blank street, which I didn't show you guys, but headed back on the train to Edinburgh, which then kept getting delayed, which I explain in the next clip. Was not very ha happy, this bloody thing. Not a very good vlogger, am I? Happy Saturday. I'm actually so tired. I'm about to go perform today. I haven't performed at my performing job in like three weeks. I actually don't think I can remember the show. So I'm gonna need to do a run through when I get there because I actually I actually don't know at this point. I also need to leave. I can't stop singing wicked songs. What is this feeling so sudden and new? I can't stop, I cannot stop singing it. Right, I'm having a Barocca. Probably did a voiceover last night when I was on the train. My train was delayed. It wasn't delayed when we got on, slightly. We left like three minutes late because they only announced the platform literally two minutes before we were about to leave. And then it was like, bang, platform, whatever it was. And this huge herd of people in King's Cross were just like, vroom. Then we were on the train, so we left a tiny bit late. Then we were stuck in a queue. There was like some idiot, idiot had gone to one of the train stations. It wasn't even one that we were stopping at, but we all were obviously going through it. Had decided to go on the track or something with a pair of wire cutters or something and cut cut a wire. So we ended up in a massive queue uh, because they needed to get like trail, trail rail people out and like expect. So we were stuck in a queue for ages. Ended up being 50 minutes late to Edinburgh. It's not that bad. And I think I can claim £33 back, so I'm happy with that. But when you're when it's late and it's been a long freaking day, just sitting for 50 minutes, it was pitch black as well. So just sitting there on the train for 50 minutes, it was, yeah, it wasn't very nice. It, I really need to leave. It's currently 25 to 12. What is this feeling? So sudden and new. Oh, I can't stop. Popular. I know about popular. That's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna be going about like this all day. Can't wait to see it on Friday though. I'm literally, I'm gonna go Friday morning. I can't wait. It's my favorite musical. Your face, your voice, your clothing. I'm off. I'm gonna brush my teeth and we're off. See you later.